Since the university's ethnographic museum was established in 1857, explorers, diplomats, seamen, missionaries, anthropologists and others have added objects from all corners of the world to the collection. So if you spend enough time in Japan and you go to enough Japanese festivals, then you're going to notice this guy all over the place. Uh, this mask is called Hyotoko, and that's basically the name of the character that's behind it. And Hyotoko is really easily recognizable because of his puckered mouth that comes skewed to one side, as well as sometimes his eyes are two different sizes, and he also wears this scarf on his head, and it usually wraps around the bottom too, and it's usually white with blue polka dots. The Hyotoko mask is actually representing a god of protection from fire, okay? Uh, but more specifically, it's a god of protection from fire used for cooking or for heating the house. So more specific than that, it's kind of like a god of protection from stove fires or fireplace fires. Uh, and when you think about it, I guess in traditional Japanese housing, that would be a Ryori fire. Uh, basically, it's kind of like a hearth that was used inside of the middle of the house or inside of the middle of a room uh, for cooking food and making tea, uh, stuff like that. And it would also heat the house. So if you really think about it, uh, this guy was pretty important. Uh, think about old Japanese housing uh, where the houses had roofs made out of thatch, literally dry uh, grass.